Matt here with Mr. Energy. Hey, today we're going to be fitting a welded steel handrail. The first part we're going to look at is overhead. This is the cost of my building with utilities. I'm paying roughly $83 a day. So I'm just going to round that up a bit and call it $85 a day is my overhead cost. That's what it costs me to keep the lights on. Next is labor cost. We're looking at paying a guy roughly 25 bucks an hour is kind of the going rate for where I'm at. So even if you're doing it yourself, you're bidding against other guys or other companies who are paying labor costs. You always want to factor that labor cost in. You can discount it out if you like. Next we have material cost. So the material cost is pretty much anything that has to do with the steel, paint, hardware, tools, anything that you're going to need consumable. Um, I like to draw a little sketch and it just helps me to figure out how much material I need as far as what I'm using. In this case, square tubing, the cap rail, some anchor plates, and the fasteners. I've got some sleeve anchors. Last but not least is profit. How much money do you want to make? Typically, I want to make at least twice what I'm paying my guy. Now, if I'm doing it myself, I'm making the labor on what I would be paying a guy, plus twice, which is actually triple, so 75 bucks an hour is not too bad. The total bid would be between $700 and $800 for two seven-foot handrails painted and installed. Thank you so much for watching. Keep working hard, be creative, and always do your best. We'll see you on the next video.